Welcome to Barfell's Sheep Finding Takedowns. What we're going to do is we're going to start off with some exercises, go into some combinations, and then we'll go right into some techniques. So let's get started. All right, let's get started with our warm-up. Let's come on in here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to combine the push-up and sit-up together. Now, we're going to start off with just doing five going up. But you can start off doing 10, 20, whatever you want to do. And also you can go up the numbers and then down the scale. We're just going to go with five right now. So we'll go one, and then he's going to roll over. One. Then he's going to roll back up. We're going to do two of them. One. Two. Roll back over. Two. One. Two. Now we're going to come up and do three. One. Two. Three. Roll. One. Two. Three. And now we're going to go to four. One. Two. Three. Four. Roll. One. Two. Three. Four, last set here, one, two, three, four, five, and roll, one, two, three, four, five. All right now we're going to get up here. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to do a squat, and what I'm going to do is go straight down, you're coming straight up, we're going to throw a right front kick. Then we're going to go down, coming up, throwing a left front kick. Let's start here, one, come up, right kick. Down, left kick. Down, right kick. Down, left kick. Hold on. Now again, do as many as you want. I'm just showing you the idea here. Let me show a side view of this so you guys can see what he's going to try to do is try to keep the back straight. As soon as he extends up is when he wants to throw the kick. How high you throw it is irrelevant. What you want to try to do is just bring the leg up, throw in the kick. So we're going down, up, throw the right leg. Down, up, throw the left leg. Good. All right, now let's get down in the stretch position for me. We'll start off with the hurdle position here. I'm going to help work him again here. So what I'm going to do is keep my leg supported against his back here so that he doesn't slide. We want to try to keep the front leg here or to extend the leg straight out. Now again, an important thing here you want to do is breathe. So what you're going to do is when you're up in this up position here is when you want to inhale. When you're going down is when you exhale. So down, exhale. Good. And I'm going to just push it down a little bit. Then we're going to come back up, inhale. Down again, exhaling. And each time I'm going to push him just a little bit. And then down one more time. Good. All right, let's go towards the bent leg. Inhale here. Now exhale. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Push him down just a little bit more. Inhale. Exhale. Good. All right, down from here, what I want to do is lay back. Again, I'm going to help him put the leg down here. Just breathe normal right now. Now put the leg up on top. Okay, I'm going to help him push it down. I want him to exhale, come down here. And then inhale. Again, exhale. One more time. Exhale. Good, let's switch sides. All right, keep the leg straight. Okay, inhale right now, and then exhale, go down. Good, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good, let's go to bent side. Inhale, exhale. Good. Inhale, exhale. One more time. And exhale. Good. Lay back. Alright. I'm just holding down here a little bit here. Now put the leg up top there. Now inhale, exhale. Good. Bring it up here. Inhale, exhale. One more time. Inhale, exhale. Good. All right, let's get up. Stretch the upper body a little bit here. Okay, again, I'm going to start with the hands uh, behind his back. I'm going to keep the thumbs up. I'm going to bring it in this way here. Just give him like a cat of 10. And then also, uh, the more limber he is, the higher you can bring the arms up here and stretch it out here. What you want to try to do is maybe start down average height here. Don't try and bring your shoulder up too high here. Just keep a straight back here. And then just bring it in this way here first. Keep it a nice, just steady pressure going here. And then what you want to do is just bring it up each time a little bit higher here until you bring it up this height here. And just be real careful on how much resistance you can feel. The resistance, don't try and pull it any harder than what he can go. All right, then what I do is I want to cross the arms. What I'm going to do is turn the face this way here. I'm going to grab the, the lower arm, I want to pull it down this way. The top arm, I want to pull it up, so I'm going to go this way here. Just stretch them out this way here. All right, and then I'm going to switch to the other side here. Again, 
This one's going down, this one's going up, so I'm going this way. Good. All right, then I want him down on his stomach. Stretch the back out. Move back just a little bit for me. All right, grab the arms, put them up on my legs. Sit down on his can. Put my hands on the chest area then, just back him up a little bit here, stretch his back. Just give him like a count of 10 here, let him relax. All right, then I'm going to help him down. I right, turn sideways there for me. All right, then we grab the legs. Just backing them up this way here. Stretch them out this way. Again, then I'll just let them down. All right, stand up for me. Now start off with the bridges. What I'm gonna do is I wanna support him as he bridges. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off using the hands and then we're gonna do where he's not gonna use the hands. So what I want right now is get him comfortable doing the bridge. Look back there, look for the floor, hands back there, and he's going down. When you start to lose the balance, tighten his stomach, take it down slow. Let's try it again. Okay, again, you guys spot him, make sure you're supporting on the lower back here. Hands back, make sure his head's back, bend. Look for the floor there, tighten up the stomach. Very good. All right, come on up. Now you're going to do it without hands. Now, the guy that's spotting him is real important here not to lose control of your opponent as he's going down here. Because if he doesn't have this bridge going down correctly, he's going to land right down on his head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold him all the way through it. Hands stay up on the chest here. He's bridging down, looking for the floor. He's going to go down and put his head down on the floor. Nice and easy, tighten up the stomach. Very good. Let's try it again. Again, it's important to keep the stomach tight. As you're stretching the stomach, it's also going to help you slow you down so you don't go down to the floor real quick. Now bending it down. Good, bend, 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 bend. Real nice. Good. Okay, while we're down here, let's stretch the neck. So get down on your knees and hands, on the head first. Get the head, head down there, now get up on the toes. All right, now roll back and forth. Good, one more time for me. Put the hands up on the chest, side to side now for me. Good. Okay, let's show a uh, front view of that, please. For me. Get up on the hands, toes. Roll it front, front and back. Go ahead. One more for me. Put the hands on the chest. Back and forth. Good. All right. Now, while we're in that position right there, just get out to your back right from there. Onto your back. Pull back to your back. Up on the head. Okay, roll it back and forth. Try to get the nose to touch. Good. Keep going. One more for me. Put the hands on the chest. Roll it. Front and back. Front and back. Good. One more. Now go left and right for me. Good. Okay. Back up for me. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the other student in here. And we're going to go over some kicks. Why don't you uh, get on this side for me. So I can... Hands up. All right. What we're going to do again is working on the roundhouse kick. We're using this for our, our weapon. This is our target. Now we'll start off without killing each other. We're going to throw one, put the leg down. He's going to throw the next one. Good. Now I want you exhaling when you throw the kick. So now throw it, exhale. Good. And back. And exhale. One more for me again. Good. Good. All right. Now from this point here. We're going to go with the front leg, get in a little bit closer, I don't want no steps or anything like that. Again, we're going to use this for the weapon, this is our target, inside area is the target, this is where we're going, here's the weapon. Alright, bring it up, let's go. Again. Good. Good. Alright, back to our position here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go with a hook kick, start off with the front side here. Now what we want to try to do is we're going to Hook kick, we're going to use the heel, back of the heel right here. All right, this is our target in this general area here. Now back in our fighting stance here. So what you want to do is you want to bring the leg up on the outside here and you want to come down on the leg, this point here. Okay, you can try it. Good. All right. Go ahead, one more time for me. Good. Now we're going to go back to the back leg roundhouse kick. As we do the back leg roundhouse kick, what we want to do is we want to just bring the leg up to block, the hand comes down. 
You want to turn the leg out slightly. You want to use your shin bone the block. Now, you don't want to go too high with the block. You want to be able to protect the supporting foot. If you go up too high, he's going to hit the supporting foot. You've got to bring up high enough to block. Bring your hand down to your thigh each time. So you start up in position here. As soon as the kick comes, you drop your hand down to touch the thigh. Turn the leg out slightly, but don't bring it up too high. Now, let's try this here. All right? Hand comes down on the leg. Down on the leg. Make sure you touch your thigh. Right, good. Good. Okay, back to our position here. Now we're going to go with the front side. Same thing on the front side. The only thing good about doing a block on the front side is all I have to do is bring my leg up. I don't have to turn it or anything. So I started my fighting stance here. As soon as the kick comes, just bring it up and straight down. Again, you don't want to bring it up too high and you want to bring the arm down to help protect it. Protect your upper body and so forth in case he does bring the leg up over the knee. So let's try it here. We're going with the front side. Good. Good. Bring that, leg, that hand all the way down. Okay. Stop right here for a second. Now we're going to go back and get in my fighting stance for me. Baldy. Now we're going to do the same thing with the hook kick. The hook kick comes and you're going to do the leg block the same way we did before. Again, move back to this a little bit for me, guys. What you're going to do is, is bring the leg out this way here, just like we were doing. Again, don't bring it too high, but you're just coming out this way. You're trying to, you're trying to catch it again on the shin. Now the problem you're going to have with the hook kick is there's a possibility that he can still come around with the bend of the knee. So you might have to bring it out just a little bit more when you're doing it. What you want to try to do on the block there is you're going to try and catch above the knee in this area on his leg. Let's get in here and let's try this. All right, hook kick comes and then block. Again, bringing the hand down to the leg. All right, other side. Good. Go. Again. One time. Good. All right, now, back in our fighting stance here. We're going to go back with the back leg roundhouse kick. He's going to block, but as he blocks, what he wants to do is, is be able to counter off of this movement here. So what's going to happen here is he's going to block, move the leg out of the way. All right, that's going to force his opponent's leg to go back or out of the way, and that will leave him in a, uh, in a situation where he can actually kick or punch or whatever. So what we want to do is we want to block first, move the leg out of our way. Let's try it here. Okay, back leg, kick and push it. All right, other side. Yeah. Go. Good. One more time. All right. Good, back to our fighting stance. I'm going to try it off the front side. Front leg, push kick. Down. Huh? Okay, I want you kicking and I want you blocking. So all we're going to do here, watch, watch this right here. Up, out. Okay, so you're kicking first, you're blocking. All right? And then push, right. Go ahead. Good. Keep those hands up. Kick. You kick. Good. Okay, back to our fighting stance. Back to our fighting stance. Okay, now let's do the same thing with the hook kick. You're going to hook kick, you're going to block, push it out of the way. Go ahead, hook kick. And then push. Good. Keep those hands up and you're going to fall right into a punch to the face. And push. Good. Alright? Push. Good. Good. One more time. Good. Back to our fighting stance. Let's warm up with some punches. What we're going to do is we're going to start off with a step, jab. Okay? All we're doing is stepping up, jab, cross for me. Let's get in here. Let's try it. Now, what I want you guys getting the punch at the opponent here. So if, if John throws a punch, I want Marcus to do a scoop block. Okay, so back in our fighting stance here. Okay, so let's start off again here just with a ride perfect like that. Just one jab. Right, good. Okay, again. Marcus throw it back. Now Marcus, go. Good. John. And breathe. Alright, stop for a second there. Now what we're going to do is we want to do a jab, step, jab, then a right cross. What's happening here is if I had an opponent here that I'm fighting, and I was in range to throw this jab, this jab hits, he makes a little step, I can step and hit him again. So what we're doing is, is jab, 
A couple inches, maybe six, eight inches at the top is what you want to step with the front foot. My back foot doesn't move, so everything's moving off the front foot. So I start a jab here, step, jab. Another good thing to do is if we start our fighting stance just here, I can't hit him. All right, he knows he can't hit me. All right, but what happens here, one of us has to take a step. We're going to step with the front foot. So what happens here is Marcus decides to take a step first. As he steps, I'll strike at him. So as he steps, I'll strike. That will bring him back, then I'll strike again. And this movement here works real well when he starts to lead. All right, so as soon as he leads, here my hands are up, as soon as he leads, I want the hand to come out. He steps back off of it, then I'll step back in with it. All right, that's primary, primarily when you'll use that movement there for the jab, step jab. Because you've got to remember, when you start to face off somebody right here, you're not in range with them, so it's very rarely you would do this. Okay, you would have to have somebody in range here, or you'd have to step, then get in range. But I'm having you practice the exercise with a jab, step, jab. And I want you to know when you would use it. Primarily, we'll use it when he steps, we'd jab him. He steps away, we step in, and then throw the jab. So let's work on this exercise here for a second. Okay, so what we want to do is, is first, I don't, want, I don't want you to move at all. I want you to move. I want you just to throw the jab. First jab. Now step, jab. Right, and then the right cross. We're going to finish with the right cross, then come back out. So jab. Step, jab, cross, back out, jab, step, jab, cross, good, back out, one more time, good, okay, back in our fighting stance position here, now what we want to try to do is I want to try to add some kicks into, or legs we should say, because what we're going to do here is, I'm going to start off here, I'm going to do the jab, step, jab, instead of doing a right cross, I'm reaching and grabbing them, right knee, and come back out. So what I'm doing is jab, step, jab, reach in, grab them, pull the head down here, and then drive a knee into the stomach area. Also, you can try to hit the face. Right now we're training, so I'm just going to work in the body here. In case I do hit them, I don't want to damage my opponent right now. So I'm going jab, step, jab, grab, knee. Okay, let's have them try here. Jab, step, jab, grab, knee. Okay, mark this try. Jab, step, jab, grab, knee. One more time, John. And then mark this. Good. All right, let's have John out for me for a second here. Mark this, get right there. Okay, we're going to start going through some uh, techniques here now. Get in our fighting stance position here. Now, what we're going to try to do here is take downs for, for our techniques here. Now, what we're going to try to do is finish with a submission move. The hardest part we're going to have here is trying to get the guy down to the ground. From this point, I have to get somewhere in this point. This looks real good if I don't have to worry about him moving or anything like that. I can obviously do this if he doesn't move. The problem is that's never going to happen in a real situation. The problem I have to deal with is the fact that he can kick and punch and take me down to the ground also. So what I have to do is set something up so that I can get in position to where I can take him down. So what I want to try to do is what I'm going to do is a, a step kick. So very simple here. I'm in my fighting stance position. I'm going to step with my right leg at a 45 degree angle. I'm going to throw a left kick to his leg. What I'm trying to do here is set him up for the fact that he thinks I'm going to kick. Now, when you're training that, you may have to use three, four of them, whatever it may take to do it. But Right now, we're going to just do one step kick, and then I'm going to take him down. So what I'm doing is I'm stepping, kick. All right, now I'm going to step and take him down. Very simple. All right, let's try it again. Just, just a little bit for me. All right. Right there. So I'm doing step, kick. All right, it's the same movement I was doing with the step kick. I'm going to do step takedown so that he still thinks I'm coming in with the kick. He doesn't know what I'm going to do here. By the time I get to this point, it's going to be too late. I'm just taking the other this way. Now I'm going to cover down with him. Now let's move over this way. Here. All right, what I'm doing here is when I take him down, I get around the waist and I come down with him. Now what I do is I have his arm trapped inside here. I take this arm that was around the waist, just come up around his neck. I'm going to lock my hands up in this position here so I can do the sleeper. But before I can get the sleeper, I have to move my body weight forward so I can actually choke him. So what I'm doing is lock the hands up this way here. 
Now, since I got my left arm under his neck, that means I got to use sit on my left hip. So I'm coming this way. Now, my legs are going to be slightly out, so I have balance. I keep this nice and tight here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my left arm and pull it in towards me. I'm going to push down with my shoulder here against his arm here. So what I'm doing is this. All right, now, you want to start in this position here. You want to control first. Try to lock this up. Don't try to do the sleeper from this position here because the fact that all your body weight's behind you makes it very difficult to squeeze up in the front here. So I want to lock in this position here. I want to bring my body weight so that my, my actual body weight is doing the technique. So as soon as I bring my body weight forward, it's going to tighten up the movement. All right, let's show it here with the students. Okay, good. Now again, we're going to step, kick. Now we want the same movement. You don't want to change the movement. You don't want to stutter or anything like that. You want to step, take down. Good. All right, now stop one second. Let's move out here a little bit. In fact, get up for me again. Let's move back a little bit and start it again. Okay, let's go right from here. Again, step kick first. This sets the whole movement up. Then step take now. Good. All right. Now, wrap around here. Wrap the arms around. Now what he did, brings his legs up. This leg back. This leg up. Okay, now squeeze everything together. All right, good. Now let's try it on the other side here. It'll be a little bit easier for me to explain what we're doing here. Okay, move back just a little bit for me. Okay, we're going to step kick. Now we want the same exact movement, nothing different, just step take down. That's one of the things you have to work when you're doing this technique here. So that the opponent doesn't know exactly what you're doing here. Now what you do is lock up around it. What you want to try to do is get the blade part of your arm here around his neck. So we've got it tight around here. Then you try to lock the arms up. So what you're doing is you've got this around the neck. You lock it up in your arm this way here. Now he has the arms locked up and that he wants to shift the weight. Bring his weight forward, this leg back a little bit for balance. And now just squeeze. Very good. Now stand up for me here. Draw him back up for a second. Back up for a minute. Work this way. Now, when we're doing the sleeper, what you want to do is, again, we're cutting off one side of the head with his arm. So what I do is I have this side of his, his blood cut off here like this. Then what I want to do is I want to use my arm on the other side. So I use the blade of the arm here on this side of his neck. Now in order for me to make this arm tighter, what I want to do is come up and grab this arm here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to push everything together. I'm going to push my body away, which goes against him, and my arm in towards him. So I just do it here. And that's it. That's the same thing you're doing on the ground, but the, the, the benefit of being on the ground, you don't need so much strength. You use the floor. So what you do is you shift your weight forward up above by his head, and this will tighten up your arm. All right, back in our fighting stance position. All right, hands are up. All right, again, we're, we're, at, we're in the same problem here as where we have to work on closing the distance here to our opponent. So realistically, we have to set up some kind of fighting position here to when we're going to take him down. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a back leg push kick. I'm coming into this point here. All right, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to the ground here grabbing his leg. Now what happens here is technically once I grab his leg here I should be able to push him down here but what he's going to do is he's going to move this leg back a little bit to get his balance. Once he gets his balance I come I grab the leg here and take him down. And let's show it again here. Let's move this way a little bit. Again I'm going with the push kick. Then I'm coming down trying to grab here. He adjusts that foot to make it a little bit more difficult for me to take him down. So what I do is I reach in with my hand grab it, take him down. Now again, when you do the takedown, you're supporting both his legs and pushing your body weight forward, which will cause him to fall over. Stand up for me again, please. Now, never try to lift the leg up. You don't have to lift it up. Either one of them. All you have to do is just hold the legs here. Once the legs can't move, moving the upper body is really easy to knock them over. So all I'm doing is just hold and support him here. And then all I need to do is just drive my shoulder forward he falls over. There's no problem with doing it like that. The one thing you don't want to get a problem doing is taking strength there and trying to pull him up off the ground. You don't need to do that. If you're strong enough to do it, it's great. But after about 15, 20 minutes of doing that, you're going to be way too tired to do anything. All you have to do is just lock in there, push forward with it. 
Okay, now let's do it again here, and then we'll finish with a finishing technique. All right. From a fighting stance position, again, I'm in the same situation here where I'm trying to close the gap here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a back leg push kick. Then I'm coming in this point here. What sets me up in a beautiful position here, the only problem is, is he moves his balance away from me, makes it difficult, so I reach the hand and taking him down to the ground here. All right, once I get him locked down on the ground here, I'm going to snake my arm inside this way here, locking his arm. Now I try to keep this leg away from him. All right, if this leg is under him, it's too easy for him to roll. Okay, what I want to try to do is keep this leg out a little bit, so I might have to support it with my leg or foot or whatever. Then I'm locking up in here. The foot is up on my shoulder area, and I'm down by the knee area here. Now what I want to do is I want to pull the leg towards me so it's completely extended. I'm going to push down on the knee, up with the uh, foot area, and I'm doing it like this. Okay, let's watch again from the stand-up position. Okay, we're in our fighting stance. I'm doing a push kick. I'm coming down, reaching for it. Miss. Come back in and grab it. Come underneath. Roll him over here. Now, again, this leg's crucial where it should be. If it's underneath, too easy for him to roll. As long as he's like this, I, technically what he would do is slide it. I should lock in this position here to keep him from moving it. And then just roll the technique here. Just go from here, pull out a little bit here, and then roll. Okay, let's have the students in. Okay, from our fighting stance. John will start to push kick. Drop down. Push him down. Okay, let's move back a little bit here because we're too far away. Let's start back here, please. Okay, in our fighting stance. Push kick. Take him down. Snake underneath. Roll around. Lock the leg up. Remember, this has to be on the side. He's keeping everything on the side. He pulls away here. Pushes in with his arms and out with the shoulder here. Puts all the pressure right here. Okay, let's try the other side. Okay, let's start back a little bit for me. Okay, right there's good. Push kick. Good. Take him down. He moves back a little bit. Good. And just twist it. Very good. All right. Back up in our fighting stance. All right, from our fighting stance here. I'm stepping in, I'm going to do a left jab, I'm doing a right cross, I'm going to hook, I'm going to do a knee. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to step back here with the knee, switch, knee, grab this arm here, and I'm set up in position to do a toss. It's called a hip toss. I'm just taking him around this. Okay, back to fighting stance position now. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a push kick. I'm coming down to drop him down. I'm going to reach my arm and to grab his leg. He moves. So I, I can't reach his leg with my hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch sides. I'm reaching the hand inside here so I can take him down. Once I take him down, I'm controlling the leg here. I'm going to slide in, take my left leg around his leg, putting it inside. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push my pelvis forward as I take my knee outwards. So all I'm doing is going this way. So just push him back here, and up, and hips forward, this way. Okay, now we'll show with the students. All right, let's get up. Okay, fighting stance. So we're John with the push kick. Come down. All right, what happens here, Marcus moves too far for him to reach the leg, so what he's going to do is switch sides. Now he can reach inside, push him forward. Controlling the leg, bringing it up. Slide in towards him, bend the leg in. Now what he wants to do, he wants to push the hip and this leg straight back. Locks up in here, he pushes it straight back this way as he pushes his hip, you don't have to worry about locking it, as he pushes the hips forward this way. Go ahead. Very good, let's try it on the other side. Okay, back to our fighting stance. Move this way just a little bit for me. All right, we'll go with the push kick. Good. Come down. All right, moves out of the way so he can't reach the leg. He's going to switch sides. Okay, now, one thing you got to remember here, when you switch sides, you got to move your head. Let's go back there for a minute, Marcus. Stay right there, John. All right, do you see his head's on the outside here? When he switches, it's very common to switch, and keeping your head on the inside, that's not where you want to be. 
So what you got to do when you switch, you got to come on the outside. Then you push forward. Good. Now he's controlling it. He has his hand on the leg. He controls it, bringing it up, brings his leg inside, crossing it. Now, what he's going to do is take this whole section here, including his foot, and he brings it straight back this way. As he does that, he takes his hips and he pushes them forward. Very good. All right, back up our fighting stance. All right, good. Okay, back in the fighting stance. All right. Now, again, a couple of things I want to say back on that technique for a second there is, again, or I should remind you on all these techniques here, what we're trying to do is close the distance from this area here, but as we do it, we try to do with the strike. All right, it's very common to do just this, and I know a lot of you are going to say, well, why don't I just do this? The problem that we have is that he's not always going to be there, so we've got to set something up, whether it's a punch or a kick or whatever it might be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off in this position, I'm stepping in, I'm throwing my punch, grabbing, I'm throwing a knee. I'm grabbing the arm and the head here, and what I'm going to do is a hip toss. Now what I try to do is I try to get my hips under my opponent here. As I bring my hips under, I'm going to use my legs to lift him. Very simple, all right? I don't want to pull him over my back, and then I want to use my legs, and as I bring him over, I'm just going to drop with him. And I come straight down. Now let's, let's move the side here. Move back a little bit for me. As I drop him, I end in this position here. Now, if you do this technique correctly, which you should, you're going to be underneath his arm here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this arm here, underneath my leg. Take the head here. Now what I have to do is take my leg and push it back. Push his head the other way, so I do it like this. Okay, so just start here, bent like this. Up. Make nice and tight here. All right, right now everything's real snug with him here. And then just back here. Okay, let's have the students try. Right up. Okay, fighting stance position. All right, go ahead, John Lee. Alright, John just added an extra punch, which is okay. Like I said to you earlier here, you can throw left, right, hook, knee, then go in. Alright, that's okay. Now Marcus will do it with just the left jab and the, and the, and the right knee. Go ahead. Knee, step in, hip toss. Perfect position. Alright, now bring the arm up. Now another thing you guys want to remember, let go of the arm for a second. You got to have your balance. So what you want to do is you want to keep your hips as close as you can to him. Keep your legs apart from each other a little bit here. Now just grab a hold of the wrist there, controlling it underneath, bending it in tight, tighter. Good, right there. And then just push the two of them apart. Push away with the side. Very good. Okay, so you got to remember, techniques have to push and pull. So you got the arm bent up in the leg here. The head, you're just pushing the two of them in, in opposite directions. Don't bring them in the same direction, which is very easy to do. You want the leg to go one way and his head to go the other way, so you've got to pull your arm the other way. So it's a push-pull movement. All these movements we do have to work with a push-pull. One has to go one way, one has to go the other way. Okay, back in our fighting stance position for me. All right, again, we're setting up to close the distance in between me and my opponent here so that we can take him down. Again, you're going to have various amount of movements that you can do to set it up. Whatever you feel comfortable doing, you can do. I'm starting off with a left uh, jab. So I'm doing a left jab. Coming in with a knee again, putting it down. Now what we're gonna do is what we call a switch kick, but instead of doing a kick, we're gonna do a knee. So what I'm gonna do is change the positions of my foot. I'm gonna take my right foot and put it to the front, and my back foot put it to the left, and then I'm gonna throw a knee. Okay, let's watch it again here. I'm coming one, I grab, knee, come back down in the back position. I'm gonna switch the legs, throw on another knee here. Now what I can do is I can just set right in real nice and easy here. I have control over him. You can control this arm here. Now what I want to try to do is I want to sit straight down, bring my body weight down, and as I do that, I'm just going to roll. So I'm holding him in this position here and just rolling him over. So this way, I use my body weight to take him over. No matter how strong he is, he's still going to go over as soon as you drop your weight. You have to drop your weight down completely and just roll him over. Now again, basically in the same position I was when I did the hip toss, my legs bent up in here, his arms in here, I'm tight, my balance is set perfectly here. 
What I'm going to do is I've got to get this arm straight. I'm coming over with the top leg here. I'm going to push the leg down and the other one up in this position here. Now, again, you don't have to use the head at all. All you got to do is use the arm. Again, you can see where the arm's hyperextended here. Just in this position here and then this up here. Okay, let's show with the students. Back in position. Move this way just a little bit. Good. Right there. All right, John leans. Knee, step back, switch knee. Good. Uh, good. Set it up. Tight. Get me tight in here. This is tight. Okay? Underneath here. So you keep this way here. What you want to try to do, let go of this for a second. What you want to try to do is you want to try to have the elbow on the bottom leg. Straight on the bottom leg. Then you take the top leg, put it on top. Then you push the top leg down and the bottom leg up so you're doing this. Go ahead, push down. Very good. Let's try the other side. All right. One, two, switch. Three, drag. Okay. Set them up in position here. Now listen. Now see what's got it? Arm straight. Arm underneath the head because that's how we took him down to control him. Then you got to keep this arm straight and tight. Bring the leg over. Lock it up here. Now you push this back and that up. Very good. Okay, back into our fighting stance position here. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to step 45 degree angle with the right leg as I throw a left inside wheel kick to his thigh. I'm coming down with a left punch. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to control the head. I'm going to throw a knee. Now when I come back with the knee, I want to drag him forward this way. I come underneath the arm and hook the head. Now what I'm going to try to do here on the head is we're hooking with a, a front cross face. All right? I'm not going against the windpipe. I'm going against the jaw or the face here. And I'm underneath in this position here. Now what I have to do is I have to sit down and roll. What I'm going to do is back up just a little bit here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit down like I'm sitting down on a chair. I'm going to bridge and roll back, bring him over me. As I bring him over me, I'm going to sit up on top of him. So I'm coming down in this position here, I'm rolling down this way, and I'm coming up in this position here. Now I have his head trapped underneath my arm here. Now all I have to do is tighten up the arm and bridge up here in this position. Okay? Now let's have the students in here and we'll try it. All right, in our fighting position here. Inside, roundhouse, left jab, good. Knee. Now pull him in here. Good. Hook underneath here. Now we'll wait one second here. Let me get, I want to get this angle here. All right, what we got is the arm comes underneath the head here. Locking up here. Then you grab around the body here, holding it. All right, now you want to keep, but you want to remember when you go back, the whole time you're doing this movement, you want to keep the arm snug around the head so you don't lose him. If you sit back, as soon as you sit back and start to roll, you loosen this arm, he's pulling the head straight out, he's gone. So you've got to keep this snug and controlling him with this arm here so he can't move the shoulders out of the way here. Let's go sit down and roll. Right up on top. Now he has the arm wrapped around the head here still. And all he has to do now is squeeze this right arm tight and then bridge up and push the hips in. Very good. All right, let's try it on the other side. Fighting stance position. Go with the kick. Come down with the left. Good. Knee. Pull him into you. Okay, let's just step back a little bit for him now. Okay, right in this position here. All right, let me see what we got here. Nice, tight around the neck here. This arm around the head here has to stay snug all the way through. Lock up on the back here. He's going to bring the right leg in, sit down, bridge and roll. Roll right up on top of him. Crosses the legs right around to control him. Now, see, you can see around the head here, keeps the arm locked tight. What he's going to do is keep this, squeeze this in a little bit tighter here. Bridge up, push the hips in. Very good. That concludes today's training tape. Uh, now, what I want you to do is practice movements, go over them, and I'll see you in the next tape.